What if you could buy and sell Bitcoin and altcoins with deep liquidity, ultra-low fees and no verification? If that sounds good, then Weeks Exchange is one that you need to check out. In this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know about spot trading on Weeks, including how to sign up, deposit and withdraw funds, place trades and secure your account. Weeks is quickly gaining popularity for its no KYC policy, making it a great choice for traders, especially in the UK and the US, where regulations can limit access to exchanges. With zero fee spot trading and a user friendly interface, it's a great platform for both beginners and experienced traders. This video is going to focus on spot trading only, but don't worry as we're going to be covering Weeks future trading, leverage, and advanced strategies in the next tutorial. And there's going to be a timeline in the video description for those looking to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. And you can use our link in the description to sign up and you'll get up to 30,000 USD team rewards. So if you're ready to start trading without restrictions, let's jump in. Then once you've signed up or logged in, you're gonna reach the main dashboard. The first thing that I'd recommend doing before you start going ahead and depositing funds into here is to set up some security. As if someone gets hold of your username and your password, they're gonna have complete control of your funds that you deposit onto here. So if we head across to our profile icon in the top right, then security. And I'd recommend setting up things such as Google Authenticator so that you receive a one-time code for actions such as logging into your account or withdrawing from your account. If you're not too sure how to use this, I do have a Google Authenticator tutorial that you can follow. Then once your account has been secured, we can go ahead and start trading. From the main homepage, we've got competitions and bonuses. Plus we have a list of markets here, which is essentially what we can trade. And you'll see these categorized between trending, gainers and 24 hour volume. Plus you've also got some new listings over on the right. From the top of the screen, you see we've got futures and spot. And if you're brand new to trading and you don't know the difference, I'm gonna quickly explain it. So with spot trading, you can buy and sell crypto instantly at the current market price. When you buy Bitcoin in spot trading, you actually own Bitcoin and you can hold, transfer it or sell it whenever you want. With futures trading, you trade contracts that represent the price of crypto instead of actually owning the asset. And this allows you to bet on whether or not the price will go up or go down. And you can use leverage to increase your position sizes. But it does come with higher risk because you can get liquidated. In other words, lose your trade if the market moves against you. And because futures is slightly more advanced, we're gonna cover that in a separate tutorial, which we'll link below. Today, we're just gonna be concentrating on spot trading. But before we can start trading, we're first gonna to need to fund our account. So let's choose deposit from over on the right. Now, Weex is a crypto to crypto exchange, and it doesn't support fiat currency like GBP, USD, or Euros. So you will need some first to get started with. And depending on your area, there may be options to buy Bitcoin with the likes of a credit card or bank transfer. Alternatively, you can buy this from other crypto exchanges that do support fiat, such as Coinbase or Kraken, and then come back to WeX for your trading. And it's always worth having more than one crypto exchange for reasons like this. Plus you'll find far better trading fees here than on the likes of Coinbase. To deposit your crypto, you first select the crypto you want to deposit, and there's quite a large range from here. For the purposes of today's tutorial, I'm going to deposit some USDT that I already own. You'll then need to select the network that you're sending your crypto on, and it's important to choose the correct one, as by selecting the wrong network, you can risk losing your crypto, and there's minimum deposit amounts to be aware of too. To retrieve your WeX wallet address, you may need to select an option to get deposit address, and your deposit address and QR code will display below. Mine's already showing, and as I said, this is specific to USDT on the Ethereum or ERC20 network that I've selected. You then need to either select or scan the QR code which contains your address from the wallet that you're sending your funds from, or copy the address using the copy button and paste that in. Once your crypto has been deposited, this will appear under your assets overview and in your spot balance. If you're futures trading and you need to transfer amounts between your spot and your futures wallet, you can use the transfer button from the top of the page, and the transfers here are free. 
Further down, we're going to find a list of tokens or cryptos, along with how many are available or frozen with options to transfer, deposit or withdraw, which is something we're going to come back to later in the video. And there's also a trade now drop down too. So now that we've got some funds to trade with, let's head to spot from the top of the screen so that we can start to make trades and buy some Bitcoin. We then reach the trade screen, which I'll take you around first before we go ahead and start training. So over on the left under the WeX logo is our market, i.e. which pair we're trading from and to with the search bar underneath, which is where we can choose what we'd like to buy or sell and essentially trade. I'm going to type in USDT now as that's what I'm currently holding, but there is a list underneath of USDT markets too. Where I'm then going to see a list of all the cryptos that I can trade with. In this example, I'm stating that I'd like to buy Bitcoin with my USDT, so my pair is BTC USDT. It then shows the current market price and the equivalent in US dollars. Then we have the 24 hour change, 24 hour volume, i.e., how much people are trading, the high, in other words, the highest price in the last 24 hours, and then the lowest. And these values are all applicable to the pair that I've just chosen. In the centre of the screen, we then have our chart, where we can monitor over periods of time and analyse. Plus, there's also some helpful tools that you can use on the left. On the right of the screen is the order book, and underneath there's potential sell orders on top in red, and buy orders in green underneath. In the centre is the current price. Beneath the chart is where we can place our orders or trades. Then at the very bottom of the page is where we can view our open orders, order history, order details, and then a list of any assets. Let's go ahead now with a trade and purchase some Bitcoin with our USDT. And there's two different types of trades that you can place with WeX. A market order or a limit order. A market order will buy or sell instantly at the current market price. And this is the fastest way to trade if you want to quickly buy or sell your crypto. Whereas a limit order lets you set a specific price at which you want to buy or sell. Your order will only execute if the market reaches your chosen price. And this gives you more control, but it can take some time to fill. Or it might not fill at all if the price never reaches your price. I'm going to show you examples of both now with a buy and a sell order. We're going to start with a market buy order. Now we've obviously already got our market set up, i.e. what we're trading with. Then to buy Bitcoin with a market order, you simply go to the left hand side of the trading section where you're going to see that big green buy BTC button. And as you can see, the price that you're going to be buying at will be the best market price available. Then you enter in the amount that you want to buy, or you can use the slider to select a percentage of your available balance. I'm going to choose to buy with 100 USDT, which is roughly $100. Then when you're ready, you can choose the green button to buy BTC. With a market order, like I said, this is instant. Therefore, your Bitcoin is purchased immediately. Under order history at the bottom, you'll see the price that I've bought my Bitcoin at, which is $83,271. And it then shows how much Bitcoin I've purchased. Order detail then breaks it down a little further and shows any fees that you're paying. Now in terms of fees right now, weak spot rates are at 0% for maker orders and 0.1% for taker orders. If you have no idea what that means, I'm going to quickly explain that in simple terms. So a maker order is when you place a limit order that adds liquidity to the order book. In other words, when you're setting a buy price that's lower or a sell price at a higher price. A taker order is when you place a market order or an existing limit order that removes liquidity from the order book by instantly matching with available orders as we've just done. Any crypto that you purchase is available instantly. If we head across to our balance now by clicking onto the profile icon in the top right next to deposit. Then click on our balance. We'll reach the assets overview page again, where we'll see our purchase Bitcoin and what you do with it is completely up to you. I'll show you how to withdraw this shortly, but first I want to show you another order type. So let's head back to spot. So that was an easy type of order to place and it means that you can get in quickly with a buy or sell order. And selling with a market order would work in the exact same way, only the reverse which would sell at the current market sell price. So let's go ahead with an example now of a limit order, which allows you to define the price that you either want to buy or sell at. Let's pretend now that we've held our Bitcoin for a while and we've decided to sell it for USDT. The price is just over 83,000, but 
We want to sell it once the price is $83,300 and we've therefore made a little bit of profit. Now obviously in this example I'm unlikely to make any profit as I've just bought it but let's pretend. First you'd normally select the market or the trading pair as we did in the top left hand side of the screen. In other words what we want to sell our Bitcoin for which could be a stable coin to lock in the price or you could be trading that for another crypto. Because again I'm using the Bitcoin USDT market I don't need to change anything. And this time we need to be on the sell side rather than on the buy. And once we've got the limit tab selected in the price section is where we need to enter the sell price that we want to sell our Bitcoin at which will be more than the current market price. As I said, I'm going to choose $83,300 as an example. Then using the slider, you can select how much you want to sell, or you can manually type that in again. When you choose the red sell BTC button, you then need to wait for the market to reach that price. And the sell order will automatically sell for you when it reaches it, which means that you don't have to sit watching the screens and markets. Now if an order hasn't yet been filled, you'll find it under open orders. And if you find that you've made a mistake or if the market changes dramatically in the wrong direction, you can also cancel an order when it's still open by choosing the cancel button here. And then you can simply try again, which I'm going to do now at the price of 83,295. So I'll just need to wait now for the market to reach that price as it's currently at around 83,176. After a couple of minutes, my order has actually filled. And when an order is filled and your crypto has been sold, the order will then move from open orders to order history, where we can then view further detail. Once you've either bought or sold your crypto, another option might be to withdraw it. And this could be to an external wallet if you're no longer trading with it and are planning to hold it for the long term. Or you might be sending this to another exchange so you can cash it out for a fiat currency. So how do we withdraw? Well, if you head across to your profile icon again from the top of the screen, you'll see there's an option to withdraw. First, you need to select which crypto you want to withdraw. Then select the network you want to send it on. And it's important to ensure that where you're sending to supports the network you're sending your crypto on. These different networks will have varying prices and times, which will depend on how busy or congested the network is. Then we need to paste in the receive or deposit address of where we're sending our crypto to. And please just ensure that this is correct and all the characters are entered before you proceed. Unfortunately, crypto transactions are non-retractable and just by making small mistakes, it could mean that you lose your crypto forever. So just double check everything and maybe consider sending a small test amount first if you are feeling nervous and when the withdrawal fees are low. Next, we need to enter the withdrawal amount and any minimum withdrawals will appear in the amount filled underneath and any limits above on the right. Or you can choose withdraw all from here. The transaction fee for this withdrawal will appear underneath with the expected arrival amount showing underneath, which is minus the fee. And when you're ready, you can then choose to withdraw. But that completes the WeX Spot tutorial. Don't forget to use the link in the video description to get the welcome bonuses. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a like and hit the subscribe button for further tutorials.